Hello, my name is Ryan Fowler and I'm here to discuss a very important issue with you today. As anyone who's ever worked in the healthcare field can tell you, the most important thing is patient safety. This means that we must not only ensure that treatment options for the patient are correct, but that they are safe as well. That doesn't just mean that we're providing a safe drug at the, safe, the safest and most appropriate dose, but also that we're able to deliver the medication in a safe and effective way as well. Throughout my education in pharmacy, I've spent time in many different hospitals and many different pharmacies. One thing that I've noticed throughout my time is that there seems to be an issue when individualizing doses for injectable medications. Whenever someone has an individual dose of an injectable medication, this has to be drawn up in the pharmacy and then sent out to the patient's room to be delivered by a nurse or a doctor or even a pharmacist. The problem with that is that once the medication leaves the pharmacy, it has to be ensured that the medication is not tampered with, that the medication inside the syringe is the correct medication and it's the right dose. The current methods that are used to ensure this involve using what's called tamper tape. This is a very sticky and stiff tape it has to be wrapped numerous times around the syringe to ensure that the cap cannot be removed before the, before the tape is cut. This can cause a number of problems. Tamper tape itself can be quite problematic for many different reasons. First, because it's so sticky and stiff, it can be very difficult to remove from the syringe. This makes it more difficult to deliver to the patient. It also is problematic for anyone who administers the medication because it can cause paper cuts and it can cause chipped fingernails. It can also cause a problem in that it can block the markings on the side of the syringe which prevents us from knowing if the dose is correct. Finally, it does not prevent anyone from engaging the plunger on the syringe and injecting the drug out while the tamper proof is, is on the cap. So again, we cannot guarantee that the correct dose is being delivered to the patient. Because of this, my team and I sat down and tried to come up with an appropriate method for tamper-proofing a syringe. While we discussed many great options, we ultimately arrived on the design that protects both the needle and the plunger of the syringe. What we have done is we've taken a typical syringe that, once the medication is drawn up to the individualized dose, the cap is put back on the needle and then a plastic safety device that is attached to the cap will then cover the entire needle, plunger included, and a zip tie or device similar to a soda bottle or a milk carton will be engaged. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I've used a twist tie so it can be reused. But this will be engaged, which will prevent the cap from being removed and the plunger from being engaged as well. This ensures that the dose of the medication remains correct and that nothing can get into the syringe from either side to adulterate the medication. It's important to note that in the final design, the device on the end that, seal, that secures the cap onto the needle will not be reusable. This is something that once disengaged will be visually obvious to the user and let them know that the syringe has potentially been tampered with. My team and I feel that it is very important that we create a tamper-proof syringe to provide patients with not only the best level of care, but with the most safety as well. Thank you for your time today.